It looks like it's bleeding. I'd like to try the uh, zombie frappuccino, please. Ah, uh, yes, please. Ken? That's me. You don't want to live? No, thanks. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Really hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing really well. I'd like to thank Pat, Josh, Ryan, and David for giving me the heads up that Starbucks was coming out with a zombie frappuccino. I just picked mine up here in Newmarket, Ontario out of Chapters. Chapters and Starbucks kind of teamed up and they're in the same building. And so it came to five, 25 for the grande and uh, after taxes it came to 593 leave a comment in the comment section below as to how much it costs in your area just to see if there's a wide range of, of different prices especially from the u.s up to canada apparently it's everywhere in canada everywhere in the u.s uh while supplies last and it started thursday yesterday and goes till uh halloween unless they run out by then so uh the green stuff is apple this is like a chocolate raspberry so they put chocolate raspberry all on the inside of the glass then they put the frappuccino the apple frappuccino on top and this apparently is just whipped cream with uh just a little bit of uh, dye in it <laughs> food coloring I guess it would be so here we go first try of a zombie frappuccino way to go guys Starbucks you guys are incredible come out with these really cool drinks mm. when I bought it you could see way more green now that the chocolate raspberry is all spilt down that was that was my first flavor uh, taste that I got so it tasted like just a tiny bit of apple but a lot of raspberry and milk. So it tasted like raspberry chocolate milk. I'm sure it's gonna change as we go. I'm gonna do a little lick of this top just to make sure, see if there's any flavor to that too. Nope, just whipped cream, colored whipped cream. It's, it's so funny when you order it and everybody else that is standing waiting for their coffee or whatever, they're like, ooh, that looks cool. And it's just like they just they just went in there, ordered this thing, and they didn't look at the board, and the board clearly says that they got this. I'm gonna start stirring it up just to mix it all together. And once again, I like to thank people for you know emailing me or contacting me through Facebook or Instagram or whatever and letting me know that these things exist because Sometimes I just, I'm just too busy doing other things to, to keep my eyes open for really cool uh, drinks and foods. Uh, hopefully next week I'll do a, a new you know, Canadian poutine just for you guys. I get asked that the most, I believe. Where's that poutine video coming out? Soon. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, it tastes, it tastes better when you mix it all together. Mix it, uh oh, I thought I like went outside the cup area. It looked oh, all over me, damn. Sorry, bone shaker. This is good, It's it's. I, I'm getting a brain freeze right now. Hang on, it is cold, wow. So it's like crushed ice, whatever apple thing they put in there that make it look that way. The raspberry is like the biggest flavor. That's funny. Yeah, starting to taste more like apple. Apple raspberry. There you go. Mmm. There's something else there. Hang on. My brain's freezing. Oh. Oh, that's why it's a zombie drink. It makes you make zombie noises. Uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, I'm going to drink the rest of it and we'll come right back and rate it just for you. So hang on.
ladies and gentlemen, oh, I wasn't counting. I think that was about six brain freezes I got trying to drink that fast. Woo! So, one of the flavors that I started getting as I got halfway through that was banana. Please let me know if there's banana in this or was it the, the apple, the milk, the chocolate, the raspberry, all those proportions made it taste like I was drinking a banana milkshake, which I love. That's why I was getting confused at the beginning because again, you'd get too much raspberry and then too much apple. And then all of a sudden when it was mixing all together, it was combined and made like a banana. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, on my rating scale, I am going to give Starbucks Zombie Frappuccino a go out and get it now. Check it out while supplies last. It was a fun drink to try. I uh, can't wait till next year. Uh, I hope it's a seasonal thing. They just keep doing that every single year or come up with another recipe for another, I don't know, a mummy Frappuccino. I don't know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it's the first time you stopped by, please hit the subscribe button. It is right around here. But if you'd like to show your support for this video, hit that thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic food review. Ken Domic out. Boop. This is going to be over in just a couple days. This will be over. Uh, I got my teeth are hurting. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.